Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Cards with Michelle. My name is Michelle Zanovich, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Every weekday morning at 8 o'clock and Saturdays at 9, I come to you live to start our day with some crafting fun and creativity. And today, I want to show you. So I created this card this weekend in preparation for my Sweet and Simple class that's coming up in August. And we'll be using the Zany Zebras stamp set. I think this is adorable. And the Sweet and Simple class I created just with you in mind. Um, and I just, I just absolutely think these little zebras are so fun and exciting. And what I, when I made this, you know, I thought, let's show this this morning with something a little different. So we're going to create this same design, not using the zebras. This was just a sneak for that August class, okay? But today we're going to talk about the whale done stamp set and whale of a tail suite. Now, you may have been following along on my blog and seen that this, my friends, is actually what's being used for a club in July. So we're gonna create some cards. The July club includes a tutorial with 12 cards. This week, we're gonna make some more. So you'll have at least 16 projects ready to go when you get this August Club from my website at makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. So let's take a look at this gorgeous paper. This is the Whale of a Time Designer Series paper, and it comes in a pack of six by six. So look at these pretty and fun patterns. Oops, I think that one's upside down, right? If you are a uh, Finding Nemo fan. Doesn't this look like that where he's with the, the sea turtles riding the waves? And we've got this really fun, look at those playful whales and all of those sea creatures. This is just a lovely pattern paper. And this paper is so pretty. I mean, honestly, whoops, upside down whales. I don't know how you would decide, do I cut it? Do I stamp with it or do I just use it whole and add a sentiment? So we're going to be looking at this. Look at these seahorses. Aren't they pretty? Now the colors in this paper pack are Balmy Blue, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Granny Apple Green, Just Jade, Pacific Point, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock and Shaded Spruce. I mean, but then, you know, I see some Sahara Sand in here and I see some crumb cake. I see all sorts of colors. And look at this kelp. We have some of that um, double-sided ribbon, right? That has the, the green and the pretty peacock. Doesn't that look like that? This paper is so much fun. I really had a hard time deciding what we were going to do. So I'll show you that. Then the Whale Done stamp set comes in a bundle with a Whale Builder Punch, which is also pretty cool. We'll be using that this week. There's also a Seabed 3D embossing folder. And I think this is lovely. We'll use that this week as well. And then there is this new pool party. Um, what is, what are, I just want to make sure I get the right name. Sheer ribbon. That's right. Pool party sheer ribbon. And it is absolutely sheer. And it ties beautiful, beautiful bows. And we'll be using some of that as well. Okay. Tape that up so it doesn't go all over. But today I decided, whoops. Now this does come in a large pack. I just picked one of each to show you. I'm going to use um, this kelp bed and then I'm going to take this piece 
only I'm going to use that green coral piece. I know, I know, bear with me. It's going to be hard to, uh, to cut it because it's so pretty, but I think we can make it work. Okay, now I have a card sketch. Look at this, this these are, if you are feeling kind of handy, I've printed out these Casing Tuesday card sketches that I go back and reuse because they're so cool. So this is one that I'm going to reuse. Um, and I'm grabbing my trimmer. And I'm going to cut this piece down to four and three quarters by three and a half. So I'll line this up here at four and three quarters. By three and a half. Okay. This is going to be my bottom piece. I know, I really like those turtles. Thank goodness I have more of that paper. Okay, then this piece I'm going to cut to three and a quarter lengthwise. And I had to make sure I did that right because I want this um, kelp pattern and that's by four and a half. Here we go, there we go. All right. This pattern is perfect for a Monday morning, okay? It's not overly difficult. And I'm going to, this is a card base in Pacific Point. It measures four and a quarter by 11. All measurements can be found over on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. And I'm going to take this and this piece is going to go on straight. And this piece is just going to go like so. Okay, just slightly offset. And what I like to do is put it on my base and then I'm going to take this and tack it down. Okay, so I'm just tacking that down the direction that I want. Now you don't need a lot of adhesive because it's designer series paper, so it's not very heavy. See that? Now that's perfect for when I want to turn it over and adhere it to my card base. Just like that. Oh no. Oh no. Ready? Good morning. It's Monday. Let's see if I can take that off. You know what I did, don't you? Did you, did you catch that? It was upside down. Maybe, maybe not. In any case, it won't matter because we're going to add a cute little whale. All right, now. I love Mondays. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I have my whale stamp here and a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I'm going to use, I really am, oh, where in the world did it go? Oh, that's funny. I put it away. That never happens. All right, so I've got my Granny Apple Green. And I'm gonna stamp my whale right down here. I have my two inch circle punch. Two and a quarter inch. I wanna check something out for a minute. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right. Now, before I punch him out, I have my light seaside spray blend. And I've let that ink dry just a little bit. I'm gonna add some color 
on him. I didn't really want him to be white down there. So I'm using my blend marker just to kind of fill in any white spaces, just to add a little contrast, okay? He's been swimming in the deep for a while. This is just adding some happiness, okay? And then I'm going to punch him out. Like so. I know there's a whale builder punch. We'll get there this week. Don't worry. Michelle, I saw your post about someone at the school system having tested positive for coronavirus. Please tell me you're staying really safe, my friend, okay? Oh, I didn't like hearing that at all. All right, so now I have my light pool party stamp and blend, and I'm going to make this look like he's swimming in the ocean. Okay, you just don't want him hanging around in midair, otherwise he looks like a museum specimen. Okay. All right. Next, I have a piece of Pacific Point, and I'm going to take another two and a quarter inch circle punch and just punch that. And my little whale is going to go just like so. So I'm going to bring back my kelp bed. Okay? He's pretty awesome, guys. I might offset him just a little bit more. Okay? And then there's some dimensionals laying around here. Turn that over. And I'm going to secure those together with some dimensionals. Okay, no need for extra adhesive. Those dimensionals will hold it. Just like that. I'll throw one more up there. Okay. And then finally, I have a stitched rectangle label here. And I have the sentiment that says, my love for you is bigger than any ocean. And I'm gonna stamp that in Pacific Point to make it nice and bright and bold today. Whoops, where'd I go? And my stamp and pierce mat, because it's photopolymer, I think this font is pretty cool. And I have some mini dimensionals. These I found from a paper pumpkin that I had left over. So I just grabbed those. I can't wait till my paper pumpkin comes. She goes, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Fireflies, and fireworks. Okay. 
We'll put that on there like that. And then because it's Pacific Point, I am going to add a piece of Whisper White cardstock on the inside so that when it comes to sending this card, I have a nice place to write. And if I wanted, I could take that matching piece. Well, let's do that. All right, so that looks like it's five and a quarter. Not five and a quarter, let's see. Maybe four, four inches. Shall we do a half inch? I just had this piece of Whisper White already cut, so I wasn't quite sure what size it was. Ha ha, three and seven eighths. Okay. And I'm gonna put this up at the top today because I noticed there's a little bit of schmutz on that piece of Whisper White and it covered it up and it ties it in with the front. So, two classes coming up. The Whale of a Tail Card Club is the end of August, and again, it's a 12 card tutorial, and you will have an additional at least four cards to add to it um, at the end of this month. And then Zany Zebras is coming up in August. So, so many things to choose from and ultra cute to get us through these extremely warm, hot dog days of summer. I hope you have a wonderful Monday, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock for Casing Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.